Well, hello everyone, and welcome to another beautiful day in subsistence. Is that a... What is that up there? Is that just a bush that looks kind of funny? I think it might be. Anyways, welcome everyone. I thought I would... I'm making some cordage, and I thought, you know what? I want to go do a little bit of fishing. So I'm making myself some tackle as well. I know I'm using up some of the cordage that I made to make the tackle, but... Oh, that's okay. There we go. And... Oh, look at that. Water. Nice! Um, you know, actually, oh, it, somebody had a question about if, uh, where is it? There's, is that the edge right there? I think that's the edge right there. Yeah, something, something like that. If you could fish through the platform. Yeah, I, I wasn't going to try. Well, I might, uh, maybe I'll try it eventually, but I, I decided I wasn't going to try it this time because I thought I'd want to actually do some fishing in. I don't know. I'm a little concerned about, <laughs> well, I guess I'm a little worried about what happens if I try to go fishing through the floor of my base. <laughs> it probably would work, actually, now that I think about it, but... Uh, right. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, what am I doing? <laughs> I was thinking about other things. Come on. There we go. E. There we go. Oh, hey, we got a salmon! Oh, nice! <clears throat> That's actually pretty cool. Maybe if I stand right over it, that's a little easier. I guess you're not supposed to stand too far back because uh, I can't see I, the little the little pickup fish thing doesn't really show up unless you're like right on top of it. So Doo -doo. there we go. Ooh, what do we get this time? Oh, that looks like something a little. You know, the line moves around bigger than it looks like the fish does. Come on, there we go. Oh, a little. Okay, little fish, little fish. Nice. Do, 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 do. So yeah, the plan for today is we're going to go do some looting. I was thinking about where I wanted to do some looting, and I th I think, I think that, you know what? Okay, you know, I'm going to try it. We're just going to do it. Why? Because science. Why don't I just, yeah, we're just, yeah, let's just do this. Let's do this and see what happens. All right. I know I'm using up my axe doing this, but I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. Because uh, I am curious about it. Oh! <laughs> you actually... Now you... Okay, you can't jump back out, but you can jump down through it. <laughs> actually, it's a good thing that I had that. So you can go into the water through your floor. That's actually really kind of cool, to be honest with you. That's actually really neat. Uh, can I fish? Okay, this is... All right, now we're just being silly. Now... <laughs> oh, Cold Games, you, he's going to hate me for, for doing this. <laughs> he's like, bro, why are you showing these things? Well, I'm just trying it out. <laughs> I don't know how common it is. Like, I specifically built the the um, this this platform to be... Like, my whole base, I don't know if you know this, but the whole base is literally built around, like, the height of it, around this, le this depth of wood in the water. I wanted uh, to build my... I, it's an old story from back when I was playing Heat. There was this base that we went to visit that had a... Uh, oh, this is... That's a... Look at how big the... Uh, wow, okay. Look at how big the, the thing is going around. It's like... Holy moly. Th is this a pike? Come on. There we go. Hey, it is a pike. <laughs> All right. We've proven it. So uh, I'll explain. I'll explain the whole thing. So, yeah, it, the, right now, the way the way that this is built is that that, that floor is like uh, just a couple inches or so uh, below the water. So you can still be in the water, but run through it. And that was, that was by design. Um, and as I say, the whole height of the base was built around that, right? Because I basically placed that... And I made it so that, you know, that is exactly, you know, up to here. That's, you know, one, two, and then this is like the third floor above that, that one, that foundation or that uh, ceiling panel actually is what that is. Uh, so it's built around that whole height. The height of the base is built around that. It's also built around the height of the surrounding uh, area, but really that's what set it because I wanted to, I wanted a platform where I could run across the water. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it what it boils down to. That's what I wanted. Okay, and I also cooked up some fish, so we're gonna take a bit of fish with us for uh, for protein during the day. Uh, I think that's a good idea. And I think, oh yeah, we can put away that as well. 
And I think we're good. I think we're good to go. Uh, oh, wow. Just that little uh, delay in time really did do a number with my uh, food. There we go. And hell, let's just have a berry water. And then we'll have, we have some fish on us. We'll top up our protein later. So that's actually really neat. Um, <laughs> so, so yeah, it was uh, based around this, uh, uh, we were playing heat. I was playing heat and I did a base tour and somebody had built a base on a river. And they, uh, some of the, um, uh, some of the, the, they could had a, uh, it was like a beachfront resort type thing. And it had like all kinds of stuff, a hotel and had like, uh, docks and stuff like that. And the docks, the, the, were built with, so that when you, you could run out over them and basically the water was just, just right at the height of the things. And, and so when you ran, your feet kind of splashed, uh, splashed in the water as you ran, uh, across the dock. I don't know. It was just a... It was one of those things that was just, it was kind of cool. It just felt really neat and it was awesome to see. And so uh, I wanted to replicate that. <laughs> I wanted to see if I could replicate it in subsistence. And it seems that you can. <laughs> so I was so happy when I, when I found that out. Okay, where are we going? We are going uh, actually not over that to the left there. We're going to go to the right. We're going to go uh, through here and then we're going to basically look for a... Uh, locked crate in here. There are hunters up at the top of the valley, so we're going to avoid what well, they're up here. So we're going to stick to the forest. That's the plan. All right. So that is the, the plan for today. Now, the weather is kind of frightful. <laughs> oh, and we want to get wood. So let's hit up that big tree up there too. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. So... I'm going to need my axe. There we go. Hey, we actually got a potato, not a potato seed. Wow. All right. Doo -doo -doo. Although I guess it doesn't make a difference considering one potato can be converted into one seed. So they're kind of equivalent anyways. But at least if you get a whole potato, you have a choice of whether to use it as a potato or to use it as a seed. If you get a seed, well, you have to grow it into a, to a potato that you would then convert into a seed. No, I'm kidding. I Well, you could if you wanted to, but you know. Uh, you get a couple of potatoes, I think, actually, out of it, which is why the math works. Um, we're getting a little close to the base over here, to Bravo. And I, I don't want to aggro them yet. And there's another, there's a crate literally, like, right there, but it's a little too close to them. Uh, but we are going okay, to we'll hit up the tree. And we're going to keep looking. We're going to look for a locked crate. Um, just over there. So we're going to do that. Uh, I do have the lock pick on me right there. So we're good to go on that front. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Now, the concern that I have right now is that the weather's okay. It's snowing. It's a little, it's a little bit, uh, kind of, it's not sunny. It's just a little kind of borderline. The weather's a bit borderline. And I do, I'm a little concerned that what's going to happen is we're going to end up with um, a windstorm while we're far away from the base. Right? And the situ that situation... Do I want you? Oh, yeah. Let's just do it. Uh, is that if you get caught too far out from your base, it, like you can die in the in a, in the in the snowstorms, because it does uh, really whittle away at your stamina and your health, right? And if you're too far away, uh, you you know you it slows you down because your stamina drops and all that other stuff, and you could end up dying. So we do have a uh, still have a heat pack left, so that's that's so that we can get back to the base if we ever if we really need to. Okay, let's just keep going. Grab this uh, scrap, and then let's go and take a look and see if we can find a lock crate over here. Uh, this is... this... Oh, there's a white wolf. <laughs> this can be lock crate land right in here. Uh, what we got to listen out for is wind. So there's this weird little... Uh, it's kind of a howl. I want to go over there and get that, fi that fiber. A 
have to be careful. There are hunters over there. There's this little, there's this weird howl that, uh, that starts up and, and just be, like, uh, well, there's a howl when it, when, when it's windy, but you can sort of hear it before it really, uh, before the weather changes too much. And it's kind of, it's, yeah, it's kind of interesting how it, how it starts like that. It kind of ramps up. The bad weather ramps up slowly. I, I really like that, you know, that detail. It doesn't just suddenly change into grotesque weather. And by the way, I don't know if you've noticed that it's starting to rain, uh, not rain, but um, snow a lot harder now. It's it's getting more and more uh, kind of flurries. There's lots of flurries. Okay, we've got a wolf over there. A rabbit. We're not worried about the rabbit. But we're interested in a locked crate. So there's a few places we can get them along this top of this hill. That's not a locked crate, but sometimes you do find them along here. But we do need the loot, so we're going to do that. And then um, on the way back, we're going to uh, pick up wood. We're going to do some... Oh, 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 Mr. Wolf! Don't mind me. Just getting my crate. Oh, is he coming this way? No. Okay. We're going to leave him alone. I'm not really interested. It... Uh, I don't usually... I don't have a problem with it. But uh, the problem is my inventory. I'm a little... We've only got a little bit left. And so, yeah. Inventory space in the winter is a bit of a premium. Just because you carry extra stuff. I am carrying extra stuff with me. Alright, we wanted to go down into the forest. So let's head through here. There's a big tree up there. We might as well hit it up. But I'm going to come down in this little nook. Because right in this little area, you can also get lock crates. There's a crate crate right there. Yeah, the weather's definitely turning a bit ugly. All right. <clears throat> let's get the, uh, let's get this tree. Yep, see how visibility is just slowly getting worse and worse and... Uh, and they're starting to get... I'm getting a little bit of a frost around the edge of my screen here. Minus seven degrees. We're getting close to the borderline. What am I wearing? Yeah, I'm wearing my good clothes. My best winter clothes, so... All right. Let's just boogie through here. We're going to hit... Uh, head into the uh, into the forest because the forest is a bit of a spot as well for locked crates and so why am I so interested in locked crates well they're great for loot <laughs> but that's only part of it um, we we didn't really have that successful of a run uh, with the well it was it was successful enough uh, don't get me wrong actually here let's eat at least you and maybe you. It was a reasonably... Like, it wasn't terrible, but it was... Ooh, hey, wolf. Definitely not the best run when it comes to... Um, uh, sandstone. The, the sandstone run that we did. And I'm a little bit concerned uh, about the glass situation. I want it... I want to. I want to do some building. I want to do more building. I want to get... I want to get on top of that and start, you know, replacing as much glass as I can. But uh, if I can't get sandstone from, well, at least a reasonable amount from diving, then the there's only two other places to get it. And one is locked crates. Yep, there it is. You hear it? There it is. That's the howl. And it just, it just builds up and slowly, slowly we all of a sudden, you're, you're getting into just nasty, nasty weather. Now, this is the forest. I also love the fact that there's this really faint... Uh, it's like a tinkle, tinkle, tinkle sound, like ice crystals, like uh, sort of banging into each other. It's really... I don't know. It's just really nicely done. You can hear it very faint. I thought I saw something else. You know what? No, let's let's focus. So um, there's a big rock here. There's the lake that's in the valley. Um, we're going to stay out of the valley. We're going to stay in the forest. But this whole area through here has a tendency to be uh, a locked crate zone. 
And if we're super lucky, we actually might spot a locked crate. But, yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> See? There we go. We got our locked crate. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna... There we go. Nice. All right, so we've got a bit of a problem. We're going to eat you. We're going to... We could probably do... Well, let's just grab that, that, that. Got nails already. Scrap already. We're going to take the iron. It's going to create a new thing. Look at that. We got a bunch of sinew. That's nice. Got some boards. That stacks. That... Oh, wow. Okay. That's... Now we're into trouble. Uh, so essentially what I'm going to do is... I might just eat that. Ah, heck, that's just... Oh, I can't eat that. Okay. Can I eat? Wow. Okay. I can't do that. That's fine. I'm going to drink water just because... Ooh, I don't know what I'm going to do here. I have to dump something. What we could do is convert all of the wood into boards. Take that. And then the 44 rounds. Uh, I'm going to actually use the, uh, the heat pack and then we're going to... Now we're going to boogie back to the base. <clears throat> because, uh... You see my health would drop down to 117? Yeah. That's because it was, uh, that's this weather. This weather, if I were to, I knew I was going to need the heat pack to be able to get past this. Did I keep fiber? Yes, I did. Good. I wanted, uh, that's the one thing that I wanted to do. That I could, I could not harvest trees on the way back to the base, but if I, uh, I, I'm going to, I would be, I would feel super sad if I wasn't, uh, going to be, uh, picking up every fiber that I saw. So, yeah. And I have inventory issues. That's it, rabbit! Seek shelter! It's cold! It's terrible! I hear you, wolf! I think I heard a wolf. I was talking, so I, I was uh, drowning out the sounds of the wolf. Alright, but let's just beeline back to the base. And then what we'll do is we'll we'll get um, put away um, our stuff. And then we'll... Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's put away our stuff, and then we'll we'll go out and do some local area wood gathering. Because I wood is something that I definitely need, right? That was the other thing I wanted to make sure I had was a, some scrap. Because uh, if I if I spotted scrap on the way back to my base, <laughs> do we have medicinal plants? Yes, we do. Okay, we can grab those. Oh, that is a potato. Okay. It's an actual potato, so we actually... <laughs> I'm, I don't know if I've ever gotten two potatoes in one loot run before. <laughs> That's actually really lucky. Ooh, there's an ore over there, but we're not going to worry about it. Okay, we can do medicinal plant. Do, 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 do. Yeah, this is, this is brutal. But my health's not dropping, and that's that heat pack. It's doing its job for me. And my stamina isn't dropping. So that's actually kind of nice. But you'll see it's minus 10. Oh, there's a wolf. Okay, wolf. I, I know. I know. I know. I know. And look at that. You see the, the blue that just flashed? Now, the wolf probably took off. That was... Uh, that was... See? I even... The, the heat pack wore off just as I got over here. And now, look, my, te my, my health had dropped to 160. So uh, it has dropped another point. That is, that's, that's looting in the winter time. <laughs> Gotta be careful. Okay, so let's put away some stuff. And then we're gonna head out and we're gonna actually, uh, but we're gonna go and gather wood, but we're gonna actually do it, um, without protection. We're not gonna, we're not gonna have a heat. Well, I'm gonna make another heat pack just because I like having one on me. Look at that, we've got 15 sinew now. That's kind of nice to see, actually. Um, okay, that's gonna go in the, uh, refinery. That's gonna go in that bin that's gonna go that bin that's the other one uh this one goes okay and yeah so there and then we're gonna eat well we'll keep that one uh this goes into there that one's in there this one's with that one and we're gonna keep that on us and we're gonna actually hit yeah okay oh we overflowed on medicinal tonic that's actually really kind of nice to see Okay, you go in here. This goes in here. Doo, 
Do, do, do. Uh, cotton seed is always a nice thing to get. So yeah, you can, uh, the moral, moral of the story here, let's do a little bit of, uh, cooking. Look at that. We actually had full power because of the wind. The wind turbines up on the roof were doing their job. That was, that's actually really good. Oh, we can see them too. <laughs> see? <laughs> we'll be able to see them more in the future, but I need to get more glass first. Oh, we overflowed on zinc. Okay. Um, okay, I'm okay with overflowing on zinc. Let's just do this. There we go. And I will, uh, we'll sort that out later. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the thing. We only have enough, uh, stuff to make one more heat pack because it takes four rotten meat, uh, in order to do that. So we're going to make one more heat pack. This is just an emergency heat pack. I like having one on me in the winter. Uh, there is one in here, but that's, that's another, that's in, in case I die. Uh, I think you do get a heat pack on you when you spawn in. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what was that? It was the sound of something breaking. That was a bit odd. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I made the heat pack. What was that sound? Was that... Was that something shooting at my base in the distance and it hit the base and, and that could be actually. All right. How many arrows do I have? I've got 12 arrows. We've got, okay, we're in good shape. All right. We're going to get the shotgun out. Because we do have a wolf out here we're going to deal with. There he is. 120 hit points. That is exactly one shotgun shell. Hey, bro. Yeah, that's right. Do, 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 do. Uh, I think the weather's actually improved. It's back down to minus seven again. Yeah. And you notice the the howling wind is not there anymore. That's actually kind of cool. Okay. Here, let's uh, get some snow. Actually, I'm going to wash my hands. And get more snow. All right. Let's gather wood. We're just going to use our do our little local group of trees here. Hey, look at you. I do like that he's he's added he's adding more stuff. A little a bit more variety. I have to imagine that what that means is that he's got a whole list of full games has a whole bunch of things that he he wants to add to the game and he's just you know he adds in um this a little bit here a little bit there and uh keeps the game stable uh relatively like uh, bug free i i don't i personally don't get a lot of crashing uh with this game if any by the way i it's like very rare there's a there's like been a couple of things that were kind of a a bit uh, iffy, um, and but he's usually fixed them up. Once he knows about them, he's fixed them up pretty quick. Uh, really top-notch as far as the quality of the software development process and the game and stability and all of that. Is Code Games has done such a good job with this, and I have to imagine that part. There's a few reasons for that. There's more than one reason. Number one, he's a good developer, right? He knows what he's doing. That's that you you can't you can't make solid stuff like this without without a bit of skill. Oh, there's a crate right there. Without solid skill, right? And so, and number two. Okay, <clears throat> there is an advantage to he, while while we you know we do talk a lot about how, the fact that it's impressive that it's one one guy that that's making this game. And, you know, how much work that is and how he seems to always... Uh, it's quite amazing how much he gets done, right? That is absolutely true, by the way. And I'm not going to take away from that. There is an advantage to that, though. There is an advantage to that um, small... I think we've gotten this, haven't we? Yeah. Having that small of a scale of development. Like having, would be, having it be one person. And it's, it's a lot easier to coordinate work, and it's a lot easier to make sure that your work is sane when you do that. As soon as you start introducing a lot of people into, uh, 
into a game into it sorry into the development sorry development process that has a price in the oh he ducked his head okay. now we, we can just go for the body shot this time we don't have to aim for the head so we can be a little bit more uh, casual about it right about the aiming and all that as long as we hit normally I, I, I aim for the head which is tricky because you know the head's not very big compared to the rest of the body oh hello white wolf I was going to get that fiber but you can have it I'm not really you know what I'm not interested <laughs> I'll get this fiber though and we are running out of time. It's getting dark. Anyways, there is an advantage to the to that small scale. It, it, it really does make it um, uh, more feasible. It, it's easier to keep it keep things straight. You, as you increase the size of a team, uh, there's inefficiencies in that, right? You can get more work done, but there's inefficient. And you know, sometimes the left hand and the right hand don't really know what they're doing. And, Different people have different ideas about how things are done and stuff like that. And you can fix that with good process and everything, but anyways, that's still, there is a very big advantage to, um, to a single developer in that way. Just because you, you just, you know exactly what you're doing and you, you know, you know that, oh yeah, the other day I made this change over here. So I have to account for that over there and this other piece of code that in a big project would be worked on by two different people. That's basically what it comes down to. By the way, I'm not worried about this because I need the rotten meat. In fact, we're probably just going to let some stuff rot, so. All right. We need to uh, top up the fuel first before I forget. I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to cook up. No, you know what? We're going to let those. Let's see what we can get to rot. And then I need to wash my hands. There we go. And we're going to grab that. Let's put away a few things. Uh, that goes in here. And this, 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 this doesn't go there. That goes in there. And let's go here. Wait a minute. What was I thinking? I wanted to cook the water. That's what I wanted to do. Um, nothing. Yes, something. This goes in here. And then the, that goes in there. All right. We could... Where are we going to put this? We could we could put the... Well, let's take a look. I want to, things to rot, so... Um, we've got a lot of steaks, so I think... I'm going to basically let a bunch of steak rot. I think that's a good idea. No, not there. Wow, we are really overflowing in our little bin here. It's been suggested that I make uh, a larger bin. Um, that's a good suggestion. I like that suggestion. And, um, like that bin right there. Make a bunch more of those. And, uh, so yeah, that is, I'll, I'm going to do that in the long run. I think it's a good idea. All right, so, I think we put everything away. Haha! -ha. Let's take care of, uh, the plants, but we're also going to take care of the animals, so. How much kelp do I have? 100, I think that's all I've got. Yeah, we're going to, you can feed the animals kelp. Uh, actually, I'll do it just be, just to show it. Here, let's grab the full stack. You can feed the animals kelp, but there is a downside to it. Now, in my case, it's not... Well, normally it's not a big deal. But the downside to using kelp to feed animals is that... Um, first of all, it's not very efficient. You don't really get a lot of hunger satisfaction out of it. And the second reason is because... Um, uh, it, it really... And I'll do this just to show... It really just, it tanks their thirst. So right now, well, let's just do it this way. This is not how you should do it. Um, what you should, what we're going to do is we're going to tank up their water so that it's 100%, right? Now it's at approxim approximately 53% food. So let's say half. To, to, to fill up their food with half, how much is it? Yeah, it's, what is that, 16? <laughs> There's right there. <laughs> that was 16 kelp. And it tr and it tanked my water down to eighty four percent. So then you got to add a new water. So yeah, you do the water, the food first, then you add the water after. But anyways, that's 
That's the that's the issue with using kelp as your. Uh... It's not a big issue, by the way. I mean, in a pinch, kelp is a perfectly legitimate thing to feed the animals. And if you had a liquid lake or a pond nearby, refilling them is not a the the canteens is not a big deal, right? But let's say, for example, it's winter time, and in order to convert canteens of snow, you have to cook them. So that does slow the process down a bit. Um, here, let's do uh, water first. There we go. That should bring it up to like almost a hundred, and then we'll do the uh, do some fertilizer. And then only do these two. Okay. There we go. Um, I'm gonna drink one water. Yeah. Because we're gonna get a, do a refill. Nice. Now I think that in a base like right here, not in maybe this section, but in this section where it's like four degrees Celsius, I think that or eight right here next to the, that these these guys should should melt, but they won't. They're not going to melt in winter. It, I think. Do they? I think they used to. I might be wrong about that, but I seem to remember that. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm. I might be wrong. Okay, let's actually just grab these six. Put these. Is that a moose? I think I heard... What did I hear? Alright, before... Actually, before we do anything... Yeah, there's a moose right on the lake, right there. <laughs> We're losing light, though. Let's... Uh, or the darkness. So let's, let's do a check for uh, rogues. Okay, top of the lake... Over here, uh, next to the, the double river, where there's a big tree right there. That's also a loot spawn, or a lock crate spawn. And then at the base of the... So these guys, I don't think they moved. And the rest of the valley is free. So everywhere else is free, except for top of the lake, next to the double river, and next to the mountain. Okay, that's good to know. But today, or tomorrow in-game... Or today in game, in the next episode, we are going after Bravo. <laughs> That's the plan. So we're going to go after Bravo. Um, let's, uh, I guess what we could do is let's take a quick boo at uh, what we need in order to get that to happen. Now, what, first of all, what's our power situation? It's still reasonable, so I'm not going to worry about that. Now, um, oh yeah, put away the kelp. There we go. And let's see. Oh, I need to eat. We'll we'll sort that out before we go. Uh, I think we're in good shape. So we've got 35 plus 50 SVT rounds. We still have way more SVT rounds than 44 rounds. So I'm going to stick to using the SVT for this. Uh, we have, I think, oh, we should we could do with uh, a bunch more. There we go. 30. Well, let's stick with 35 um, rifle pistols. Or, sorry, uh, pistol, rifle pistols. <laughs> That's the. That was very dumb. <laughs> Pistol bullets. <laughs> we could probably make a few more arrows, just because that isn't a lot. Um, four. Uh, one, two. And uh, what is that? Five, ten. Plus, we need five of you, and then we can make ten arrows. There we go. How much glass panels do we have? None. How many? Oh man, is there any in here? We have a, we have literally ten glass panels. So the hope is that uh, tomorrow, uh, or in game, we are going to be able to get a few glass panels out of the Bravo team. That's that's really what the plan is, and we have so much gun. You know what? Let's make some. Let's make some nine mil. We use a lot of it. Yeah, let's let's make a bunch of nine mil. We still have way too much of it. Okay, how we, how are we doing on shotgun shells? Thirty six. Oh, we got everything, don't we? 
<laughs> I was hoping to reduce the stack uh, number of stacks of uh, gunpowder and ammo. Oh, I know what we need to do. Oh, we've got a grenade. Oh my goodness. Well, we could make a. Uh, how much is it? Two. We need two wood. Or uh, two cordage. And we're going to make a grenade arrow. That's for going through the front door. Yeah. Yep. I think that's a good plan. All right. Well, I'm going to just do a bit more crafting. And then in the next one, we're going to go and hit up Bravo. I think it's going to be fun. <laughs> all right. Thank you very much, everyone. Until next time, you all have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye.